in this demo, we are looking at a pedal that can add some classic 80s flavour to any setup. The new Sidekick Junior from Crazy Tube Circuits. You get three classic 80s style effect sections in these three colour coordinated slices. Pink over here is reverb, you get six different types. Delay is in the middle, you get a tape and digital delay and over this side is modulation. Now turning on and off the effects is through these two foot switches and this little intelligent switching system here, but you will also want to look at getting this sucker. Check that out. How cute is that? That one basically allows you to turn on and off the modulation independently, okay? But if you don't have that, then you can still access the modulation with this little toggle switch here. So over that way, you press this one on, it's going to turn on delay and the modulation. Turn it over that way, this button is going to turn on the modulation and the reverb. So let's check out some tones. Quick run through of my bass tone, a little bit cleaner than I usually have it. So we're going to kick things off by just looking at the, the right hand vertical slice of the pedal, which is the modulation. First up, flanger, everything in the middle. I think the algorithm this is using is inspired by the Boss BF2, which is pretty popular in the 80s. A great example of that is the Cures A Forest, which goes like this. <laughs> Great stuff, got that lovely sort of metallic quality, isn't it? You know, great for all that stuff. Let's notch it over to the chorus side, which is called Ensemble, so that gives you a rough idea of what they're aiming for there. Depth and speed, still at 12 o'clock. And sticking with the cure, we're gonna do Just Like Heaven. You have the intro part, which goes. <laughs> Like that and if we flip over to the dimension toggle we've got a much more sort of 3d effect again this is an algorithm based on that classic dimension c pedal <laughs> Next up, we're going to look at the Police Synchronicity 2, one of my favourite Andy Summer tones, and I'm on a bridge pickup here, and we've got some chorus and a bit of plate reverb. Add a little bit of gain, and we have this. So cool in the chorus. Just instantly there, isn't it? Now sticking with the police, we're going to look at every breath you take. Classic. We're going dimension C for this one. That sounds like this. There is a very small amount of delay on this one as well. So with the delay as well, we have this. Next up, let's have a look at the reverb on its own. So I've got the plate reverb set and I've got everything up full. So we've got this incredibly wet. 
which is lovely. I think it's great for The Killing Moon by Echo and the Bunny Men. So, you know, the chorus part that goes... All that good stuff. We have these chords. Next up, one of my favourite tracks from the 80s, Joe Satriani's Always With Me, Always With You. Uh, and we're just going to look again at um, Refib, Hall Refib this time with these settings. And the intro part's awesome. Goes like this. All that good stuff, right? Such lovely chords. Add a bit of distortion and we can do the melody line too. Man, I haven't played this for years, lovely. Next up, some Def Leppard photograph. That starts out with um, some distortion and some reverb. Again, I'm on the hall setting. But we're also going to add some chorus. Sounds like this. Next up, some Yes, Owner of a Lonely Heart. And I'm using the gated reverb. Sounds like this, with some distortion. Cool, isn't it? Now for the clean part, I'm going to use two effects. I'm going to use a slap back delay. That sounds like this. Now if we add the dimension modulation, we're good to do the first part. A really nice use of delay is in I Ran So Far Away by A Flock of Seagulls. The intro has a bit of um, dirt and these delay settings. That goes like this. Bonus, that same setting works for Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. Brian Adams run through you believe it or not we can use chorus delay and reverb so we've got reverb and chorus here I'm using the exciter a reverb setting but chorus again I've just left everything in the middle <laughs> the intro if I turn the chorus off but put the delay on and some gain we have this so I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope I've shown you just how easy it is to dial in these tones I really didn't spend a long time getting you know really close approximations I think to the originals but for the next one I'm going to turn on all the effects we're going to use the shimmer reverb which we used at the beginning for Van Halen and I'll play you out with a bit of tears for fears everybody wants to rule the world see you soon